tired of jiggling that toilet handle in the middle of the night to stop the water from running? Let's fix that. I'm Abby. I'm a Lowe's Red Vest associate from Kentucky. Welcome to DIYU by Lowe's. We're going to show you how to fix some common toilet issues and how to install a new toilet. Lowe's carries many types of toilets and supplies to help you get the job done. Let's start by determining if your toilet can be fixed. It can be helpful to know how a toilet assembly works to help make repairs. When the handle is pressed, it lifts the flapper to allow water from the tank to flow through the valve into the bowl. When the tank is empty, the valve closes and water flows in through the fill valve, refilling the tank. A float mechanism stops the water flow once the tank is full. Before making any repairs, turn off the water supply valve. If the toilet won't flush, check the flush handle assembly. Often, the nut inside the tank can be loose and can be easily tightened. If the chain has come off, you can repair or replace it. If it doesn't flush completely, make sure the chain is not too slack and adjust as needed. In most toilets, you can adjust the float to get more water in the tank. So make sure the water level is about a half inch below the overflow pipe. Adjusting components might not be the same for all toilet models, so check your manufacturer's instructions before you begin. All right, so if you need to jiggle the toilet handle to stop the toilet from running, the problem is likely related to the flapper. You can check the chain, as we mentioned earlier, or you'll need to check the flapper itself. If the flapper is loose or damaged, water will keep running out of the tank. If replacing the flapper doesn't help, you might need to replace the fill valve instead. If the toilet is leaking at the supply valve, try tightening the valve carefully by one eighth of a turn. If it is rusty or damaged, you might need to replace the line between the valve and the toilet. For leaks around the base, you may need to replace the wax seal that sits between the toilet and the floor or flange. Leaks around the side of the tank means you might have a cracked tank and you'll need to replace the tank or the entire toilet. Let's talk about toilet replacement. Lowe's has a lot of options to choose from with water efficiencies and comfortable seating. Some even have some cleaning options. Whichever toilet you choose, always follow the manufacturer's directions and any local codes. Before buying a new toilet, take some measurements of your old toilet. Measure from the back wall to the closet bolts that hold the toilet to the floor. Then measure from the side wall to the bowl if needed. Be sure to measure to the wall, not the baseboard. Typically, closet bolts are 12 inches from the back wall. These measurements are important when choosing a toilet to fit your space. Usually, toilet bowls are elongated for comfort, but if you have a smaller space, you might want to go with a round bowl. The display at Lowe's will tell you the toilet shape. When you have your new toilet, remove the old one. First, turn off the water and flush the water from the tank. The rest of the water in the tank can be removed with a sponge. Next, disconnect the supply lines from the tank. Unscrew the nuts on the tank and lift it off the bowl. Wear gloves in case it cracks. For the water in the bowl, use a water solidifier to keep the water from sloshing out of the bowl. You could also use a sponge to get the water out. Loosen and remove the nuts holding the toilet bowl to the floor. Lift the bowl and set it out of the way on a garbage bag. Some communities will take the old toilet with the regular trash pickup. Contact your local recycling or disposal service to confirm. With the old toilet removed, take out the old wax ring. Stuff a rag in the drain hole to keep out sewer gases and prevent anything from falling down the drain. Use a putty knife or shim to remove any excess wax. Also remove the old closet bolts. If your flange is broken, Lowe's carries repair kits and parts to fix it. Let's look at flange height. Ideally, it will sit about a quarter of an inch on top of the flooring. But if it's on the subfloor, that's okay. But say you're installing new flooring, which can make the flange sit low. You can fix that with spacers. This kit includes gaskets and spacers. Follow the directions for installation. 
Typically, you'll need to apply silicone sealant between the spacer and existing flange, but follow the directions for cure time. Another option is a taller wax ring. One note, do not stack multiple wax rings. They won't seal correctly. Next, check this option out, a wax-free ring. They're available with less mess, they can be reused, and they're more forgiving when setting the toilet. Before installing the new toilet, install new closet bolts. Easily slide them in the flange, then twist to position them. Tighten down the washers to hold the bolts in place to make it easier to align the new toilet. Set the new toilet bowl upside down on a towel to install the wax ring. It helps to run the wax ring underneath warm water to soften it up. Then gently press it over the hole. With the wax ring set, remove the rag from the drain. Flip over the toilet and carefully lower it over the new closet bolts. Try to keep it level while lowering to apply even pressure on the wax ring. Toilets are heavy, so you might need help setting it in place. Firmly press it down and make sure it's square with the wall. To secure the toilet, add the cap bases, washers, and the nuts to the closet bolts. Alternate tightening them to keep the pressure even. Use a mini hacksaw to cut off the excess. Then pop on the caps. It's a good idea to check the bowl for level. You might have to use toilet shims. If so, first loosen the nuts on the closet bolts just a little bit. Score the shims a few times. I like to remove it and cut it on a scrap board so I don't damage the flooring. Then slide the cut shim back under the base and tighten the nut on the closet bolt. Then add the cap. Next, install the tank. The valve assembly is typically already installed right out of the box. Flip over the tank to install the tank to bowl bolts. Slip them into place. Then install the rubber gasket to the base. Set the tank in place on the bowl and tighten the nuts by hand, alternating as you go. Check the tank with a level. Then tighten the nuts for a watertight seal, but don't over tighten. You don't want to crack the tank. Hook up the water supply and slowly turn on the water. Check for leaks around the supply line and the gasket base. If it is leaking, this can usually be fixed by tightening the bolts. Next, flush the toilet a couple of times and check for leaks around the base. If it's leaking, make sure the nuts are tight. If they are and it's still leaking, you'll need to reset or replace the wax ring. You can caulk around the base, but you might not notice leaks if it's sealed. Some local codes require it, but allow you to leave the backside open. Your toilet will include a seat that installs with a screwdriver. If you're looking for an upgrade, Lowe's carries a variety of seats to fit different toilets. Some have slow close hinges, taller seats, or a built-in bidet. You can also find Lowe's livable home products to make your toilet more accessible. Finish by setting the top in place and the installation is complete. Updating or fixing your toilet will make your bathroom more complete. If you're ever stuck on any project, just stop by your local Lowe's and ask a Lowe's Red Vest associate for help. However, if you're not sure you want to take on this project, contact Lowe's Installation Services to install your toilet for you. Let us know in the comments what types of projects you'd like to see on DIYU by Lowe's. Thanks for watching and good luck on your DIY project and home maintenance and repairs.